Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. So, today I am going to make Peruvian adobo. Uh, we're also going to make a Peruvian salad. I'll also be making a short video on that. Peru is a country on the western coast of South America. Its uh, population is about 32 million people and the cuisine is incredible. I absolutely love Mexican food. And if you love Mexican food, but don't explore the rest of the countries in Central and South America, their cuisines, you're really missing out. We're gonna make this uh, pork adobo, but for me today to make it, I had to do some stuff tomorrow. Let's go back in time. Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. So tomorrow we are making Peruvian adobo and some other stuff. You'll have to hang on and see what that is. But tonight we have a little bit of work to do. First thing we need to do is take six guajillo chilies of the dried variety and get these de-stemmed and de-veined. And you do it like this, just like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these de-stemmed, de-seeded guajillos, put them in three cups of water, bring it up to a boil, let them stay there for about 15 minutes, and then turn the heat off and let them set until we're ready for the next step with them. All right, so as those peppers are getting softened up behind us, we got to work on our pork. Not like that, like this. What I have right here is a five pound pork butt. So I need this in about an inch to inch and a half cubes. And you do that like this. There we go. So next step we got to do is put a tablespoon of salt on those pork cubes. Then we're going to rub that in and we're going to set this aside until we get our adobo sauce together to coat everything in. All right, so now we got to make our paste to rub on our pork to let it set overnight. So into the blender goes an entire head of garlic peeled. Three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. All the amounts are down below, check them. Don't believe me when I'm telling you. But two teaspoons of Mexican oregano, a tablespoon of ground cumin, some amount of ground allspice, I think it's a teaspoon if I remember right, and a teaspoon of ground pepper. To that we're going to add our rehydrated chilies. And drain there, drop one on the, uh, on the front of the blender. You don't have to do that step. I just did that for comedy's sake. And we blend it up and make our paste. Then we rub that on our pork. Oh, smells amazing. All right, so I know I use my hands a lot for cooking and mixing, but for this part here, uh, if you're either like Greg, you don't like to get your hands all sticky, or perhaps you're an albino, well, then you definitely want to put gloves on because this will turn your hands red for a little bit. We are going to use some achote oil again later, which is a very big coloring product, but uh, this will also turn your hands red. So get everything mixed up. Take your time. This is going to sit in the fridge overnight. Those flavors are going to meld and this is going to be absolutely amazing tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. So let's get it cooking. So what I have here is my pork that has been marinating overnight in that incredible marinade we made yesterday. Oh, absolutely incredible smell. So I also have two tablespoons of achote oil that I made yesterday. There will be a short video on that. You don't have to go out and search Amazon for a netto or a chote oil. It's the same thing. You can make your own. It's pretty damn easy. Uh, I have here about six to eight Yukon gold potatoes that are cut up into bite-sized chunks. And I have two red onions that are quartered. So let's get to putting this together. Okay, so we added the achote oil to the Dutch oven, let it shimmer, and then we put all the meat in there. We're going to cook it for about 10 minutes. This isn't one of those recipes where you add your meat in batches and get it browned on all sides. Um, there is some browning going on. I am going to wait two minutes in between my stirs to get 
that contact of the meat on the bottom with the oil and then we'll mix it up. Um, but you don't have to be super meticulous with this recipe. I can tell already from the smell that this is going to be what my daughter would say, balls. We've been browning this pork for 10 minutes. Now goes in our two onions. Those broke up a little bit. Get them stirred in. Fully recognizing that I should have broke them apart before I added them. But uh, the girls are bowling tonight, so I have time constraints and I didn't think straight. Girls are do that to you. They do. Okay, they will get further broken up in the future. Now I'm going to add a quart of water. Or if you prefer that metric system, about a liter. Now we're going to make sure we scrape the bottom of that pot and get any fawn that we've built off. Now we're going to bump that heat up to high, get this boiling, take the heat down to a medium low, get a simmer, cover it, and let it go for an hour and a half. Get that pork good and tender. So our meat and onions have been simmering for an hour and a half. In that time, I went ahead and made a Peruvian salad. You can catch that on one of our short videos. Uh, my rice is cooking because typically Peruvian adobo is served over rice. Our last step, we're going to add our potatoes and let it simmer for another 20 minutes, then it's time to eat. See you in a half hour for the big taste test. All righty, everything is almost ready. Hey, if you're liking what you're seeing, please hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button, never miss an episode. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, rice is venting off, the adobo is done. Let's give a try to my beautiful Peruvian salad. And as I said, there is a short video on making this. Mmm. Delicious, and the difference in textures, the radishes that are in there, the cilantro, the onions, the tomatoes, the corn, absolutely fantastic. Let's give the adobo a try without melting our face. Well, it certainly came out beautiful. Hopefully it tastes good as it looks and it smells. Mm. Yep, ate too early, melted my face, but mm, the three taste buds that I have left are very, very happy. The pork absolutely falls apart in your mouth. The flavor is delicious, just like it smells. This is definitely something you gotta try if you like Latin food. Don't restrict yourself to just Mexican food. There is incredible food in Central America and South America. Do a little bit of research, follow our recipes, and uh, give it a try. So, another success. Well, I hope you enjoyed today, and until next time, fair winds and following seas. Thank you.